And we're live. Getting adjusted, getting caffeinated, ready to play Journey. A completely blind playthrough, by the way. I have gone eight years. Eight years. Never played this game. I went to PS3, saw everyone talking about it years ago, even Mr. Pete Door, and I just, uh, I don't know what it was. I just never played it. I know nothing about it, haven't looked into it, haven't watched video or footage. The only thing I've done that's maybe cheating is listen to the soundtrack. So, I'm just moving things around, getting everything adjusted. And Nolan, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hello. I hope while you're tuning in, you're playing Spider-Man. And I cannot wait to hear you talk about it. Your thoughts. Um, I guess we should probably just start going. New journey. I love the screen. And my guess is it's going to be like God of War where it just like, it just starts right here in the desert, in the sand. Um, and it's of vital importance that people let me know how uh, audio levels are because this is a game we want to hear the soundtrack. It's phenomenal. Josh is already crying. Someone get him some Kleenexes. Kleenex? Kleenexes. What's the plural, plural of a Kleenex? Get that guy some tissues. Welcome back. Thank you for joining. Hypnus is here. Charlie, thank you for coming. K Sun, welcome to the stream. Blinkoom's here. And Dylan kicks off the stream with a subscription. Dylan, welcome to the stream. Thank you for helping me with my English. Kleenexes, that's the plural of Kleenex. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that, Dylan. We will definitely be getting uh, dinner later this week to catch up. It's been too long. And Charlie's playing Hollow Knight. What a punishing that game is from what I've played. I hope you're enjoying it. Christopher Larkin, talk about another brilliantly composed sou soundtrack. I think that's the name. I have it on vinyl. It's excellent. Let's play. Probably not as much commentating on this stream, just because this is such a story-driven adventure from what I've heard. With little dialogue. It just makes you feel the feelings. Cheers to coffee, Blinkoom, Sprites on, and everyone else. Happy Sunday. What is going on? Oh, so it's actual, like, movement of the controller here. Wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. Is it always going to do that? I wonder if I can adjust that. Um, that's going to be tough to hold this controller still like that the whole time. Oh, okay. I can use the sticks. See, I would just be sitting here if I wasn't playing this on stream for like the next three hours in this one spot. Like, how do I figure this out? How do I do this? And then Josh comes in and saves the day. Okay, cool. Holy shit. Nolan's writing Tolkien-sized novels over here for us. I'll allow the chat to decipher the message. I see lots of positivity, lots of 
glowing review words. So um, I'm just giving you a hard time, Nolan. Please continue to spam the chat with all of your wonderful thoughts about the PlayStation 4 and Spider-Man. I'm so happy for you that you have that console now. Such a brilliant library of games to dip your toes into. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but just even the subtle detail of your character's feet in the sand. Both the sound and animation. Oh, what is that? Okay, so I can like call out to my friends apparently. Okay. Looks like I've pressed just about every button. It doesn't seem like there's a run button yet, but why would we expedite this adventure artificially? Wow. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. It's breathtaking. Wow. Again, let me know if everything, anything audio wise is too overpowering. I want things to be perfectly balanced for this game, this stream specifically. <laughs> That's good to hear, Nolan. You're just scratching the surface, trust me. With both Spider-Man and the rest of what the PlayStation 4 has to offer. It's really good stuff. Interesting. Oh, I can fly now. We're just... Just getting a jump, jump button. Hmm. I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure if it's there's something else I need to do here or it was just granting me the ability to jump by adding that detail onto my scarf that's that's what I'm guessing oh my goodness that is just too beautiful look at the little roll feature too oh my gosh I actually don't even have tissues because I've heard this is a tear jerking adventure so if this is fresh for anyone else okay then I guess buckle up because this is gonna be it should be good times and frantic encourages exploration as well okay we will definitely be make we'll make sure to kind of explore every nook and cranny of this this desert. And these almost look like I I assume gravestones. This almost looks like the Keyblade graveyard to be honest from Kingdom Hearts, but what a dark setting if that's the case. Your first time seeing this too, k son. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I think you're also in the Discord, so I don't think we've actually formally introduced ourselves. My name is Rusty, and I love 3D platformers. That's really all you need to know about me. Video games are cool, too. Also a big fan of coffee and Lord of the Rings. Oh, look at that. 
It's like whale speak or something, and these little film reels just come gliding to celebrate life and happiness with me. Such a neat little concept. I mean, each shot here just feels like it's postcard worthy. Or poster worthy for your, your bedroom. It's just... It's really something special. Okay, before I go there, I want to make sure that... I don't really know if there's a... I don't think there's like a right way to explore this game. I think it is very much up to the player to kind of do what they see fit. And that's what we're going to do. That is so neat. Hmm. Charlie, taking words right out of my mouth. Play as you see fit. We'll have to talk offline to, to Charlie um, about Hollow Knight. It's been a while since I've gotten my, uh, my Charlie text messages in bulk, so you know I appreciate those. Okay. Link speaks, Rusty listens. And anyone for that matter. Um... We've turned it up ever so slightly. If that's not enough, please let me know. We can keep going. We can maximize the journey experience. And good stuff, Kason. I'm all about lurking and streams and discords, whatever it is. As long as you're having fun, that's all I really care about. But again, I, I appreciate your presence. Yeah, if I press start, he just... My little character. That is insane. That is insane. I love how there's really no UI to, like, the, the menu screen or anything like that. It's very... Never really takes you out of the world. Um, and Blink, let me know, too, if... If adjusting the audio helped at all. I want to make sure, again, you're getting the, the optimal journey experience here. Says too much about exploring. I'm just going with the flow. Appreciate a blank. It is interesting how, like, it 
Sometimes I can't jump, so I wonder if, um... If I need to visit these little friends over here to kind of access, access the ability each time. Or per number of uses type of thing. Yeah, I think so. Again, I don't want to get too caught up in stuff I'm missing, so let's just just keep going. It seems to be the overwhelming message. Like, don't get too caught up on, like, going out of your way. Just be immersed and enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I have to remove my 3D platformer collectathon hat. And just get invested. I said that I'm going to remove my little 3D platformer hat. It's going to really bug me if I don't. You'll get some of these little orbs that seem very accessible right now. Let's just fly over here. unlike anything I've experienced in video games. Like, it just feels so perfect. Like, just flying around. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've never played Monument Valley. I have seen things about it, though. And as is per usual with Rusty, when he hasn't played a game, chances are he's listened to some music compilation where he's heard music from that game. And Monu Monument Valley is another instance of that. Oh my gosh, it's just so perfect. Oh my gosh. The man who has inspired me more times than I can count. 
Literally wouldn't be here behind the mic if it wasn't for him. Welcome to the stream, Pete. Thank you so much for being here. I'm trying to cherish it as much as I can. I was talking earlier about removing my 3D platformer collectathon hat and really just being immersed. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, Ryan, if you are... Moderating, which you're not, because... At least we're having fun with it. I appreciate it, Pete. Um, okay. See, I've never actually had to moderate before. Um, so hopefully that person is out of the chat. If they're not... Yeah, can you do that? Sorry, I'm calling in the police force. Lauren has officially done her moderator duties. Thank you, Lauren. I only want small fellows too. We don't need a big community here. We're, t we're just too close and tight-knit for that. Okay. Just taking the sights for a moment. Now let's jump off. Yeah, YouTube is the worst of it. The worst of it, I would say, Sprite. Like, I feel like any video that I post on YouTube immediately have, like, these very generic things that post very inappropriate links. I'm also just noticing, too, my scarf is continuing to get longer based on the number of things I collect and abilities that I get, which is really neat. Hold the door. Who's this little friend? No freaking way. No, I think this is an actual person. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm literally like tearing up. This is the coolest thing. Oh my gosh, that's just so neat. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so cool. Pete Door. Thank you so much for subscribing. At, uh, too many feels at once. I'm playing Journey, and then my main inspiration for content creating subscribes to my Twitch channel. This is just too much for one day. I'm going to wake up from this dream any minute now. Thank you, Pete. I just want to keep following my friends.
Look at that. I love how it's all so seamless. Like, it's it's both a cutscene, but you're still in the game and you can keep roaming around freely. Little friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who you other... I guess, yeah, there's a whole bunch of these little things here we have to undo. You absolutely should do that, Charlie. These are like randomly generated. So this little symbol here is specific to me. That, oh yeah, because his, mine are horizontal and his are like, uh, or mine are vertical, his are horizontal. He or her, I, who knows? This is like the definitive version on PS4. But my gosh, for a game that came out eight years ago, this is still one of the best looking, certainly indie games I've I've ever seen. This art style is just phenomenal. Yes and no, Pete. I, I would say that I haven't like listened to the soundtrack in its entirety, but probably just, you know, you're the one that's probably at fault, Pete, because you always listen to so much chill music on your eBay streams, that by association, since I'm always there, I've probably heard some of the Journey music. But yeah, no, definitely in video game compilations while I'm working just playing games and listening to different compilations on the internet. I've heard music from Journey before. But I'm definitely blind in terms of like when key songs play during pivotal moments in the game. That, I, I have no idea. Yeah. person used their little talking thing and they waited for me. They saw that I was behind and they waited in the sand until I caught up with them. This is what it's all about right here. Agent Booty Pants, what a name. Welcome to the stream. We are enjoying this game for the first time together. And what an experience it's been so far. Listen to the music, it's like picking up.
I don't think this game would have been the same if I didn't have this friend here, though. Yeah, and hopefully for people watching this stream now, it's you're getting that same feeling of joy, happiness, maybe sadness, whatever it is, because even 32 minutes in, I can already see how seeing someone else experience this for the first time would just be just magical. So it almost looks like you're restoring a broken world and then these hieroglyphics of sort of sorts are kind of like maybe depicting that restoration it's tough to tell and so not that I want to get into spoiler territory but based on my red little tunic is that how you identify a first time player I know it's delightful to see you here too that's awesome agent And look how this, this incorporates that other player, even though, oh my god, oh my word. Okay. Yeah, talk about sky hype. Shall we follow it? Look at that pan out. Oh my gosh. It just looks like we're about to take a magic carpet ride. the Cave of Wonders up there. we do that in unison. Oh my gosh. Oh, we unlocked a whole bunch of them now. Oh, little. I'm like on the carpet now. That was amazing.
I guess I'll return to a question I presented earlier. Um, now that I have a friend here, it might be tougher to do it, but can everyone hear the, uh, the game audio well enough? Because the music is so good and it's, it's definitely worth listening to. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Ancient. Thanks, Plinku. Whoa, what's going on now? Sand surfing never gets old. Let me tell you that right now. Food Mad 51. Shouldn't you be in bed? No, I'm just kidding. It's probably only like 6 or 7 o'clock where you are. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, hello. Collectibles. Yeah, sand surfing. Sand sledding? I don't know how you want to describe it. Get back here, little friend. Every shot, like, if I was playing this without, that I wasn't on stream, I'd be taking so many screenshots right now. Uh-oh. Seems to be a changing of the wind, you know what I'm saying? Everything gang. In terms of I just love video games no matter the platform, but I will say this generation I have been for sure primarily a PlayStation player. But I'm in the market to get an Xbox One X or a uh, potentially a Series X because the One X is like impossible to find right now. Okay, friend, I think we need to over here, even though I'm, as much as I love trying to climb a mountain we can't climb. Mad 51 has left the chat. I know you and your dad are huge Xbox fans. There's nothing wrong with that. Xbox is great. Game Pass is wonderful. But I need my Bloodborns and Uncharted's and Spider-Mans of the world. And I can't play that on the X-Bone. I do want that rear replay though. We 
still have people trapped in there. Together, buddy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, not that I want to say, like, the indie game scene became the indie game scene once Journey released, because you had a lot of the Xbox Live Arcade games, kind of in the 2008-ish, 2009 time frame. But I think Journey really kind of kick-started and gave the indie game scene a new, a new name and kind of platform, I guess, once this game released. And I'm probably speaking out of ignorance because I haven't played a ton of indie games, I would say. I've played a number. Did Austin Winnery, did he... Oh, we got this. Don't even worry about it, friend. Did he compose the Journey soundtrack as well? I know he did Abzu and Erica. Oh my gosh. Talk about music. This is too good. The music. I still can't get over the character movement. It's just beyond smooth and polished and it just feels so perfect. That one segment may have been one of the best video game moments I've experienced all year. That was just pure joy. Part of me almost called off the stream earlier today because I was just kind of like, I don't want to say I wasn't in the mood, but like, I don't know, it's Sunday, kind of want to just relax, but boy am I glad that I chose to stream. 
particularly this game. Hey, come back. What's going on, man? Welcome back. It's good to see you. I'm having the absolute time of my life playing Journey for the first time. So welcome. I'm loving it. If uh, if you go back and watch the the last 48 minutes of the VOD, I don't think you could count on six hands the number of times I've been just beaming, smiling. It's... This is something else. Did you make it up here, friend? There you are. Are we back at it? We are. I'm gonna race you. I'm gonna get- oh. I'm gonna get you. Come back, friend. There he is. Come back. I think I upset your son earlier. Knock an Xbox. Not really. I just told him that I was primarily a PlayStation gamer. But welcome back. It's always good to see you. Music picks up at the best moments, and it's so subtle. Yeah, no kidding. Come back. You did you did pop in at the right time. That was that was something else. <laughs> Thanks, Logan. Welcome back, buddy. It's good to see you. I did. Yeah, I'm no longer sitting on my couch and destroying my back. Kinda nice. I hope you're doing well, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying, Pete. I learned from the best, my friend. Yeah, I did my first, like, six streams sitting on my couch, and it was... I was feeling it the next day, and for several hours afterwards, it was not... Definitely not a, a good choice. 
so. I love this person because they're not spamming it. But when we both go back and forth and are talking and communicating, it's like just enough where it's like, let's just spam and have a little fun. Make some music with our voices. We'll be safe out there, Logan, when you do go out and grocery shop. And no worries, Josh. Hopefully I can uh, help pass the time at work a little bit better for you. This looks like some serious Cave of Wonders right here. It, it really is. I've never seen anything like it. Benny the Jet. I believe that's Mason. Apologies if I spoke your RL name without permission. Thank you so much for the bits. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, man. It's been way too long since we've talked. We are uh, playing Journey for the first time, as the name implies, and I am having the literal best time. <laughs> oh. I love how it's not a race to get those either, like if we we both have the opportunity to collect these. friend go. Friend. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's really good to have you here, but... I'm about to be really sad if my friend left me. find each other again. Is that him? Yes, it's him over there. I'm coming, friend. I don't care about collectibles. I just want you. I don't know if I can make that jump. You literally develop a bond with this person, though. Like, that would have been soul-crushing if... If I couldn't finish the game with this person. This almost feels like some underwater seaweed jellyfish field or something. What a unique environment. Ambient music, this is just otherworldly, like... So many emotions, Charlie.
Glad I lost you, friend. You okay? They were probably just taking a sip of water or something. interesting. This looks like a battle arena of sorts. Every time. Like, we're perfectly in sync. We do it like four or five times, and that's it. Oh my gosh, it's just too perfect. What is that? They just... Did they just kill my friend? Oh no. I'm here, friend. I swear, this game is just gonna kill me inside. Oh, they'll destroy my scarf. Okay. So we definitely have to avoid them. Um, get a hide, friend. Oh, no. I don't think the, my friend understands the concept. Well, now they probably do, but... Okay. Go fast. Go fast. Yeah, poor friend. Look at his scarf. I wish I could offer him some, some of mine. No, 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 no. Lion high. Oh my gosh. What's happening? You okay, friend? We'll get through this together. Wow. Okay, that was good, because I was worried that, uh... I was like, how am I supposed to dodge those guys? This is the only route. Must protect little friend, I know! He's like my child at this point! We're best buds. Welcome back, Food Mad.
Hmm. I want to say hi to this person, but their uh, their name is so dark blue. Oh, it's Epic. I hope you're doing well, as you always welcome me into Pete's streams. It's good to see you, friend. How are you doing? That was some experience, friend. You okay? Okay. Trophy! If that was the trial run, my gosh. What's gonna happen when we compete in the, the Olympic Games? I know, Pete, it's it's so challenging because I'm using Streamlabs, and when the names pop in the chat, it looks exactly as it would as if you were a viewer on Twitch. When it's dark blue, it's you have to highlight it, otherwise I have no idea who it is. And just because they use Pete emotes in no way helps me know who it possibly could be. you've just cultivated such an amazing community with the doorknobs. Among trees, I've never, uh, I've not, Mason. Among trees, it sounds inter interesting though. And I have played quite a bit of Fall Guys Food Mad. I think it's the best Mario Party game we've we've gotten probably since Mario Party 3. I was actually playing last night with Blink and Frantic and we were just having such a good time. It is the most chaotic, delightful, charming absurdity that I've experienced in a long time in the best of ways. Um okay, I think we're just supposed to go over here, friend. As much as I want to be able to climb all these platforms and collect that little guy there. It's called atonement. Hmm. No, you did, Pete. Okay. That's good to know. I, I really thought during that last segment, though, I had lost my friend. Oh, yikes. I could definitely see how you're gonna potentially lose a companion. We have to stay so close, little friend. Jump, I jump. And oh. I don't think we're making any progress. It'll desync. Wow, then we must have been just the right length away in that last segment because I was almost gonna go in the opposite direction as opposed to continuing to progress forward. And if I did that, there's there's just no way we would have stayed synced up. Yeah, they probably patched it in something after the fact to just better that connection. Because when you teleport to the next area, I'm sure, like if he had gone forward and teleported to the next area, I probably would have, that probably would have desynced me. 
but I'm glad my little friend and I are still synced up. Take a sip of tea. Readjust. <clears throat> okay. Friend, what are you doing? Go off on me like that. Run away. We're in this together. Yeah, I'll have to look into Among Trees, Mason. I, I've never heard of it. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. Ooh, are we underwater now? This is trippy. Hop aboard the paper mache hammerhead shark. Okay. I can do that. Wow. Yeah, this music is... You wanna hop off there? Yeah, I'll, I'm coming. You're rebuilding, little friend. You're rebuilding. Proud of you. Let's maybe just wait here. You never were one to listen. Ben, what are you doing? Kind of reminds me if you've played Yoshi Yoshi Story on the 64. There were these weird, like, little snake things that you would ride. And then you'd have to, like, do a ground pound to, like, redirect them. Just based on this little shark's movement that kind of reminds me of that. Yoshi's Story was such a good game, by the way. Doesn't get enough love. Interest one to just jump. Yoshi's story is really good. I, I don't think it gets the attention it necessarily deserves. It's it's obviously not up there with the likes of Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie, but it was really good. And the fact that you could play as all the different types of Yoshi's and Yoshi's little noises when you'd hop around and collect little fruits. Yoshi.
Yeah, I agree. Come back. I don't... I don't know how many times I'll end up playing this, but to Pete's earlier point... Oh wow, are we just flying? I think it is one of those things where the next time you experience it, it has to be watching someone else play. So I feel like this is something I'd want to watch, like Ryan or Lauren, my wife, play for the first time. Just to kind of spectate, watch. support today, friends. I really appreciate it. Josh, I, I appreciate you subscribing, my friend. You're too kind. Wow, this music is... Cinematic. This feels like a movie. Yeah, so it's, it's still tough for me to really get a clear understanding, like, why we're going to this, I presume, mountaintop. Because that's what we keep honing in and zooming in on. And who this motherly-like character you keep having visions of. Who seems to kind of be guiding you, almost as like a guardian angel to that, to that point. Oh, we've got snow. Put on your flannel. Get your snow caps on. It's getting chilly. Well, thanks, Josh. I appreciate it, man. I'm loving having you here, and I am... loving this game. This is just, uh... Such a beautiful experience so far, and I can't believe I felt so many feels in the hour and 16 minutes I've been playing. It's it's unreal. <laughs> Pete with the little snowman emotes. Okay, little friend, you gotta protect yourself this time. Hopefully the game looks okay too. Again, my internet's so bad that I can't, I can't stream like super HD output video like 1280 by 720 or anything like that, so my apologies. Hopefully it still looks good. And if nothing else, hopefully it at least sounds great. Alright, little friend. We gotta... We gotta brave the cold, but we have to make sure we're going the right direction, too. Thanks, Agent. Glad you're still here. Hmm. 
That's interesting, Charlie. You're here till the wheels fall off. I appreciate it. Okay, so it looks like we just need to probably stand behind these things when the wind ends up picking back up. Friend. So let's, uh... Let's do that. Don't get too how far ahead of me. the wind used to destroy the scarf that would have been a little too punishing uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that significant stretch Can you believe it though? Like how, like what are the chances that eight years after this game's original release on PS3, on August the 9th, at around 12 in the afternoon, someone else on this big planet of ours was playing this game for the first time, the same as me. It's a wild thing. And I wouldn't have it any other way, little friend. Have some cocoa. And we're back to it. I haven't played Flower Pete. I know that's that's kind of like the the trilogy of games. It's Flower, Journey. I want to say Rain. Isn't that another one? By that game company. I could be wrong. Because I know you're a pretty big fan, Pete. And I guess, how would you say it compares to something like Journey? Because we might have to play that eventually on stream as well. Oh, Flow is the one I was thinking of, yeah. had a similar experience with flower. Wow. That moving. Yeah, we'll definitely have to add it to the, the bucket list of games to stream. I think the next kind of indie type game that I'll end up be playing, end up playing, and I might even play it this week because we'll be being this on stream today, is Abzu. That's just been one that um, I almost played before Journey. But I felt like I owed it to uh, myself to play this first. So 
So it kind of kick-started that artsy-fartsy type movement, if you will. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Get in there, get in there. We'll get back in. just disappeared. I don't really know where. Oh, crap. It's coming back around. Hide, friend. Oh, friend. This is gonna be close. friend, get back here. I might have downloaded Flower, because I... They may have had, like, a bundle pack on PSN at some point, because I honestly don't even remember buying Journey. I just remember getting it on sale. Talk about terrifying. I don't know when this little crazy dragon is going to come after us or not. I was safe. I know, little friend. I'm okay. We just have to get back to safety. No way. I couldn't get away from him. That's... That's upsetting. area. I'm just, I know the moment I come back out in the light, he's going to be there. And my scarf is so, so long too. That is one of the things I'm looking forward to most for the next generation of consoles, particularly the PS5 with its DualSense controller. Like, what's going to be the next journey experience that makes use of that functionality? Music really picked up. 
everything's frozen. friends do wait. scarf. Stand behind the rocks, friend. Oh wow, it's a quick turnaround. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go. Oh no, so close. Oh, a little friend. Here we go. Okay, where's the next one? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I felt like I could have easily blown off the mountain at that point. I think you're right, Charlie, because I've lost pretty much my entire scarf at this point. Which is really sad. Like, look, his entire scarf just blew away. It's like, I'm not sure if you just, you're supposed to just sit. And Nolan, thank you so much for stopping by today, buddy. Have a great rest of your day. Tell Michelle I, Michelle I said hello. Thanks for hanging out, as always. I don't know how you get through this game. without losing your scarf. Like, how do you get to the section without fighting the wind? Yeah, like, I'm speaking, and I don't even know if it's coming up. It's so faint. Because we're, like, at the end of our rope here. 
Like, literally, we are hardly even moving, even moving at this point. We're, like, becoming frozen in time. friend I can't tell if the screen is getting whiter no what Is it because my scarf? Charlie, don't do me like that. Ascending. Holy moly. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, Austin Winery. You compose the soundtrack. I'll play the game. Don't worry about it. My little friend is over there, too. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to start crying. This is. We got this little friend. This is, oh, this is embarrassing, but so good. <sighs> Little friend, let me take a sip of tea. This just feels like a montage at the end of the most heartfelt Pixar movie I've ever seen in my life.
Shark friend, let's go. so much for the follow. I hope you're feeling just as happy as I am right now. This is... We are ascending to greatness and joy right now. to the light together. <sighs> Can you read chat? Lauren's over there cutting onions for tacos tonight. Walk through this final stretch alone, Pete. Well, we're all walking through this final stretch together right now. I can't believe. The stars aligned. Within 10 minutes, I had a companion. And we made it through the whole game together. Wow. I am overwhelmed with happiness. That was something else, and I don't even know if we're finished yet. the most beautiful gaming experiences I think I've ever had. And we're clocking it at an hour and 43 minutes. Like Last of Us, you know, you, pay the, you play that game for 10 to 12 hours, it makes you feel the feelings. Uncharted 4, the payoff in that game, that series... Klonoa, The Door to Phantom Isle. You think of these games at 5, 10, 15, 20 plus hour experiences, but this was just this tight little bundle package of love 
and it hit me in all of the right places. Wow, that was so beautiful, and I'm so glad I got to experience that with everyone here. Yeah, I probably would have cried hysterically if I didn't try and like keep my composure here right now. That was just, uh, that was really special. So now we can, um, watch the, uh, the credits as I compose myself. Insert as many crying Michael Jordan memes and gifts as you possibly can. That was... Wow. That scene right there. That was, uh... Wow. The whole way. What a beautiful song indeed, Pete. Yeah, that was when it's kind of the side shot, Pete. And the sand's kind of spilling over like water. Yeah, that... <sighs> Ryan, I appreciate the subscription, my friend. We have finished... What has quickly become one of my favorite games of all time. We went on the journey, and uh, boy, was that something special. And what a way to cap off the experience by unlocking like five trophies. Wait, so those two. Do those two scars represent me and my, my little friend? Don't confirm that. I'm just gonna be a puddle of tears. Don't tell me that. Is that really supposed to represent me and my little friend? Oh my gosh. So there was really only one person. Wow, that's that's unbelievable.
Oh, is that what is that what the trophy unlock was? Uh, the real lucky low. I may have missed something entirely. But regardless, I believe all of you. I I don't know how I got the ideal journey experience, but that that's un, un, unbelievable. I I can't Oh, okay, so that was the, it was the PSNA of my friend. Wow. Because you would know if it was a different companion because they're, the way they communicated was the same icon. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. I need to be with my thoughts and just try and digest what I just experienced. And I want to thank each and every one of you who went on the journey with me. That was, uh, that was something special. And at risk of continuing to ramble on for like the next 15 minutes about how special it was, I think it's about time we wrapped up the stream. What a perfect little game. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. There were a number of people that subscribed today. Josh, thank you so much. And Mason, if you're still around, thank you for the bits earlier. Agent, thanks for the follow. I hope you'll stick around. I'm so glad I got to experience this with all you people. Oh, wow, okay. So definitely something I want to go back and end up collecting everything for. Beautiful. Come back, kid. Thank you for showing up, hanging out. Always appreciate you. Sprites on Blink. Thank you for inspiring me, Blink, to uh, finally play this game after giving me some some beef that I hadn't played it yet. So, um, yeah, that was really special. And Pete, thank you for, for stopping by. I know I say it a lot, but you've inspired me to do so many different things, and you inspire a lot of people to do that. So you're a very much appreciated friend of mine. Hmm. We will be back Tuesday to stream. Um, again, if I can figure out the tech, but the behind the scenes work, the plan is to stream uh, Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards Tuesday night. And then Thursday uh, remains to be seen. So, thank you everyone for hanging out. We'll be back Tuesday for another strum. And uh, there hopefully won't be as many tears shed. <laughs> Uh, everyone have a great rest of your Sunday. Again, I cannot thank you enough for coming out to support me. It means the world. Take care, everyone.